Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to set up Windows 10 deployment status page in Intune. So the, the deployment status page is for when you deploy um, Windows 10 through Intune, like using autopilot and stuff like that. So now let's get started. First, I need, I'm in portal.azure.com portal and click on if you don't have Intune shortcuts created here, you can type in here and search for it. So I'm clicking into now. So to configure Windows 10 enrollment status page, you need to click on device enrollment. And then click on Windows enrollment. Click on enrollment status page going to create a new one there's the default ones already created for you but you can also create your your custom um, installations or your custom uh, page so now let's create a custom page click on create I'm going to call this YouTube demo You can put in any verbiage here you want. I'm going to click Next. Settings. The enrollment status page appears during initial device setup and during first user sign in. If enabled, user can see the configuration process. Assign apps, profiles, targeted device. Show all app and profile configuration progress. So I said yes. So here, show any errors when installation take more than 60 minutes. You can change to 65 if you want. Show custom message when time limit errors occur. Say yes. So if it goes beyond 65 minutes, the user will see this um, message. You can also add in a, um, the help desk phone number if you want. Next one is allow user to collect logs about installation errors. I would recommend to do that. Only show page to device provision by out of the box. You can say yes or you can say no. If you say no, it's going to show us on um, not just Ubi. So I will click no. Or you can click yes to um, enable for Ubi only. Block device, block device use until all apps and profiles are installed. You want to make sure you have this yes, so you want to block users from using it while it's in the process of installing applications. Allow user to reset device installation errors occur. You can allow user to reset. If you say no, the user does not have access to reset that um, the installation. I would say yes, have the user retry it. Because sometimes it could be network issues that um, user lost network connections and the installation fail. Allow user to device installation errors occurs. So yes, click next. Include groups. So you want to select the assignment groups that you want to target this enrollment status page. Select groups you want to target. You can do for all users or you can specify to uh, specific groups of user. In this case, I can do my in for testing. I choose my um, Intune testers. Click select, click on the um, security groups, and then click select. Or you, if you choose the wrong one, you can just remove it here. And then click next. Now it's this is the summary screen. You want to make sure everything is correct before you can click create. Now 
as you can see here the progress it is creating successfully and the priority one so that mean this is will take the priority of the defaults so that's it that's how you um, create enrollment status page in Intune thank you for watching if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day